Hello and welcome everybody. If you are here for a sling bag review, you are in the right place. On this channel we do one take reviews of everyday carry and bags and let's get started. All right, so you are looking at the uh, everyday carry tablet bag from Tom Talk. Okay, that's a uh, a brand that is available in a couple places. I got this off Amazon. It retails for $49.99 and it's a great little bag. Spoiler alert, that's the overall review. If you hang out to the very end, I'm going to give you two things I really like about this bag and two things that mm, not so much. All right, but let's get started. We're going to check out this bag together. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that the form factor is great. The bag is small uh, and it uh, wears really easily. We have a main compartment with great zippers on the outside. Looks like the quality is fantastic on this bag. Reviews are really great on Amazon. Um, inside you have kind of a nylon material. Really nice. A TomTok logo in here. And we've got quite a bit in the bag right now. So we have a iPad with keyboard case. We've got some assorted uh, thin stuff in here, a little wallet with some extra cards, passport case, pencil for the iPad, have in here a gimbal. One of the things you'll learn uh, when you watch this channel is that most of my carry is very tech focused. We have power brick with cords and then there's also a drink holder in this bag and in the drink holder since I don't usually carry a water bottle I have my DJI Pocket 2 with expanded battery slides in there really nicely no issues there's a second bag or excuse me a second pocket right inside the bag here it's a stretchy nylon um, it's really nice I have in there just some tech accessories. Um, I have the adapters for SD cards for the iPad. You can get a little bit more in here, um, but it's not a big space, so you shouldn't plan on carrying a ton of stuff with this bag. But again, that's not the point of a little everyday carry sling bag like this. There's a great pocket on the front, runs the whole length of uh, this main section. And it's a great kind of knick-knack pocket, AirPods, that type of stuff. I've got a flashlight in there, um, some Neosporin. And there's also a little key carabiner, a little key fob that you can attach your keys with. There's a little hook on the outside here, or a little loop that you can hook things to, one on each side. And then there's a couple of other features that I wanted to call out. There's a pocket, a little hidden pocket in the back here. I've got another phone. You could put, you can see my hand goes all the way down in here. So it's a pretty roomy pocket, um, but it is tight. Um, so you can watch me slide this phone in. There's not too much more room beyond that phone, which is good because you really don't want anything back there. It's going to be pressing up against your back. Um, so. Overall, good that it's slim, but it's a little bit unforgiving. Um, the last feature that I wanted to review with you is that this is uh, an ambidextrous sling. And so you can carry it on the left or right shoulder just by hooking and unhooking the actual... There we go. You can unhook and hook the actual um, uh, strap here. Goodness gracious. Um, so. It's very comfortable. The strap is uh, just the right thickness. You have another little loop on the strap here um, and a comfortable grab handle on top. So overall, it's a great bag. I've enjoyed wearing it. Um, I think the price is right. Uh, I would compare it uh, to um, uh, some of the other everyday slings that are on the market very favorably. Um, you'll see some of those other reviews pop up in, uh, in the next couple of weeks on this channel. Um, I enjoyed the bag. 
I think you would really like it. Uh, the, the problem with this bag is that it's very uh, specific to a iPad focused carry. Um, you could maybe carry a Nintendo Switch in here. You could carry a, a very small laptop, but even a 13 inch laptop I think would not fit in this bag. So you need to know what you're getting in for. Um, I do have a couple of things that I wanted to go over that I really like. So two things that I really like, two things, not so much. And then I'll give you an overall, would I recommend this bag? So first, one thing that I really like about the bag, I think the size is perfect. So this form factor fits really, really smoothly on my back. Um, it, it carries well on your back. Um, no real issues with it kind of hanging too low or being uncomfortable. I really like that about the bag. The second thing that I like about the bag is the number of pockets. So the number of pockets, this bag, this pocket up front, really wonderful. Inside, you have the water bottle pocket, this inside flat pocket. You've got a stretchy section right here for thin items. You have another pocket right here. You have the tablet pocket and you have this hidden pocket on the back. So number of pockets, really good. Now, two things that I would change or don't necessarily love about the bag. Um, so the first one is the tablet pocket. Man, I want, I want to love this, but it's just a centimeter, just a centimeter too small. So it makes it tight to get the iPad Pro. This is the, the smaller version of the iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard. Makes it a little tight to get in and out. Um, if you didn't have the keyboard on and you just had the iPad Pro, I don't think you'd have the issue, honestly. So let's check that out. So, boom. So it was designed for an iPad with no case. Once I put the case on, uh, it got a little bit tight. So be aware of that. The second thing that I didn't love is this hidden pocket back here. Um, so I love that it's there. It's just a little bit too tight and uh, that makes it a little impractical to use. Um, the cushioning's wonderful. I don't know what I could have or would have had them do differently, but maybe just the opening itself redesign. Um, it's like I said, a little bit tight. So <clears throat> overall, that's the one take review for this Tom Talk bag. Links to the product are in the description. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I think for the money that you're paying for this bag, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna hold up, and if you have a very minimalist carry, you're really gonna love it. So that's it for now. I hope you liked the review. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like the video, and there's gonna be many more reviews on the way of EDC items, tech gear, and bags. So thanks everybody. We'll see you next time for another review. Bye-bye.